Thanks for tuning in to Two Girls See the World. Today we're going to be talking about why we're gluten free. So I'm Mary and that's Katie. Just so if you haven't gotten us down yet, it'll take a while so don't worry we're always going to let you know who's talking or which one's which at first because we are identical twins and we know it can be hard for people to figure it out. So basically what gluten free is, is it means that you don't have any kind of bread, you're allergic to wheat. So anything that has wheat grain in it, which could be soy sauce, it could be soups, it could be bread, it could be pasta, it could be pizza, all those things have gluten in them. So it can be really daunting to be gluten free. And the reason we're gluten free is because we have celiac disease. And Katie's gonna explain more about that. I were both very lethargic. Like we always felt so tired, like we were gonna pass out after we ate, feeling just terrible. And a few other health issues arose. So basically what we started to do was um, go to doctors and see what could be wrong. And mm -hmm. we went to an endocrinologist who first suspected we might have celiac disease and who told me that she thought that's what it was and put me on a gluten-free diet. And it changed how I felt dramatically. And then Mary actually had more tests done. She'll explain that to you to find out that we actually had it. So basically when Katie and I, we, were, we both went to the same doctor, but the doctor never fully sought me through. We, she never said that I had anything really. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with us. And she said... Basically that she thought that we had a gluten intolerance and that was the first time we ever heard of it and that was five years ago. Yeah, and ago. Um, so then we were on and off. I mean, I never really stuck to it. I'd stick to it for like a couple months and then I'd have some pizza because I really wanted pizza because, you know, no matter what they make, it's just... It's, yeah, we were basically like, we don't have it. We're fine. Oh we my can gosh, whatever we, we want. did big denial, like a terrible denial. And then I got really sick, like terrible. It wasn't just exhaustion anymore. It was, I couldn't like barely stand up. I couldn't even make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I was so exhausted. So I took, I was going to tons of doctors. Like all these doctors, they told me all these horrible diseases I could have. It was just horrifying and finally they gave me a blood test and they tested me for celiacs and it showed up in my blood and when celiac shows up in your blood it means that it's really bad like you have it very far along and then they did an upper endoscopy and they saw the damage in my upper intestine which is why you can't eat gluten because it damages your upper intestine and some people, if they don't have a diagnosis, their stomachs, their intestines can explode. You could get your intestines, a part of your intestines removed. It's it's, it's really serious good. stuff. <laughs> it's really not it's good. It's the stuff that makes you say, whoa, 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 like, let me it's, snap into now, this. Now I'm not going to eat bread anymore. Yeah, that, it, it makes you really put in perspective, like, your intestines or pizza. <laughs> like, yeah. you choose your intestines, and if you don't, Maybe you should talk to someone. <laughs> so then basically after finding out we definitely had celiac disease, it's time to change our lives. The first thing that we both did was research and yeah. I got the G-Free diet from that Elizabeth Hasselbeck wrote and it helped me so much. I was so hesitant to go gluten free because I seriously, food me is food to me is not just food, it's not just what I eat to go by. I live to eat instead of eating to live. So for me to change all of the things that I love so much, I mean deli sandwiches, pizza, baked oh goods, a cinnamon rolls were like one of those things <sighs> where I was just like, once I found out I had cel celiac disease, all I wanted was a cinnamon roll. That's the only thing I wanted to eat. Grilled and cheese so, and mac and cheese for me. I could, I, it's all I think about still <laughs> sometimes. It's bad. So, um, Elizabeth Hasselbeck in her book has a part about baking because like you want to bake with your kids and you know, you can still bake gluten free. And I was like, you know what? She's right. Instead of thinking about all the things I can't have, let me figure out how I can have the things I really want. So I started researching and I like perfected all these recipes because I wanted them to be so good. And now they're way better than 
the things I had that had gluten in them, I make the most incredible cinnamon rolls that are blow cinnamon bond cinnamon rolls out of this like they out of the park. I amazing. Make, Great carrot cake was another thing. Like all I could uh, think about was carrot cake. Her carrot cake. I mean, just Bang all in. kinds of things like that. Bang we, in. I mean, now we're She's at a it. point where we can <laughs> basically make anything we wanted, even better than they were before, gluten free. So it's it's gotten to a really good place. Yeah, maybe. yeah. I mean, since we've been doing it for five years on and off, you know, I really became a gourmet gluten free cook. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to make everything I want. And you know what? I It took me like four different batches to make a good macaroni and cheese. It was oh, like yeah. macaroni and sticky. Oh, like, and car like sometimes gluten-free pasta. <laughs> certain gluten-free pastas taste like terrible. Toby. The worst. <laughs> no good. <laughs> you don't want to eat them. No, you don't. And it was just a lot of research. And then, you know, a lot of times we'll take recipes and we'll make them how we think you can make them gluten free and mm -hmm. you know that's going to be a really big thing on our channel is everything's gluten free so if you're gluten free or not gluten free no matter what you can still make all the stuff that we're making mm -hmm. and you can even tweak it to make it more that you would like it basically so another resource that we found was this book called wheat belly and it's about how, you know, it's this is not your grandmother's wheat. This this wheat is on wheat on steroids. It's not, you know, it's not the stuff that people were having in the 50s. It's a genetically modified wheat. And yeah. that's why so many people are having trouble. And, you know, it's not just in America. It's in, all over the world. Yeah. I mean, Europe, my cousin, my family friend went to Europe and they went to Italy and every restaurant that they went to had gluten-free options and she has celiacs as well so it's not it's not just I know at least 10 people and it's not people that I like sought out through a support group for people with gluten-free it's just mm -hmm. regular people that I knew whether or not and they just it's amazing how many people are really experiencing it now and you know the products are great so basically another thing that I find that's a really great resource is I have an app on my phone that tells me in a like couple mile radius where gluten free restaurants are. So that's another thing you could really find useful. There's so many resources to people who are gluten free now. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Soon we'll be putting up a video of our top 10 favorite pro gluten free products that are like go to's. Because you don't have to make it everything from scratch anymore. There's so many great things you can use, so many good products. And a lot of companies are making sure their things are gluten free, like puddings and jellos and things like that. So the people with celiac disease can have them too. So we thought this would be a helpful video for you guys, gluten or not. <laughs> and yeah, we'd love to hear your comments and whether you liked it. If you want to know any more information, we'd be happy to give it to you. You can comment or message us. We would love to help anybody with their their gluten-free journey because it is a journey. It's, it doesn't oh, yeah. happen in one day. It's really hard to do. So we'd love to help anyone going through it. Trust and me, we've been in your shoes. You can do it. Trust, if we can... <laughs> We, we can, can do, do it. it. You, you can, can do, do it. it. Trust me. <laughs> and all of our stuff is linked on the bottom bar under here. So, you know, any way to contact us. We're very um, tech-savvy girls, so you can contact us any way you think you can. And, you know, we're here for you. We're a resource for you guys. And we're just so excited to be starting this. And, you know, come on our journey with us. Experience this wonderful, like, Yeah, challenge. suggest things you want us to make gluten-free because we would love to make things for you that you're having trouble with. I mean, any way we can help in anyone's gluten-free journey, we would really like to do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. We hope yeah. you have fun watching us and enjoy some of our videos. Yeah, so bye. Bye.